Ghostbusters opens nationally this weekend, and Night Flight, in its long tradition of bringing you the best first, now presents On the Scene with the Ghostbusters. It promises to be one of the summer's hottest hits with Bill Murray and Dan Aykroyd. Hi, folks. <laughs> Back off, man. I'm a scientist. You're more like a game show host. I do write them big, though. I write them big, but they make them. They'll wipe you. Yeah. But to do a comedy with Dan Aykroyd and Bill Murray and Harold Ramis and Rick Moranis, I mean, you know that it's going to be sort of loose and crazy. We're not here just to get a couple of yucks. <laughs> no, mm -hmm. that's not what we're about. And we're not here to just to stay off the streets. We're here to do something very, very important. Hey, anybody see a ghost? Hey, Rolling! Rolling! Take care of the box. Stand by. Action! But everyone has a ghost problem in the city, and it's getting out of hand. And this is really the only group who can take care of this. What we did was just take the old comedy concept of ghost busting, ghost breaking that Abbott and Costello and that uh, all those teams uh, did. You see it? What was it? We'll get back to you. And we apply this new technology to it. Everyone knows we have something very good, you know. The crew knows it's funny. And they're in So we clown around and everybody laughs. And it, 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 it's infectious. I am the key master. There's something very strange about that man. Are you the gatekeeper? Yeah, ghosts. They scare the pants off me. The polyester pants off me. How you doing? Why do you have some of the brie? It's at room temperature. You think it's too warm in here for the brie? That's great. I'll tell everybody you're coming. We're going to play Twister. We're going to do some break dancing. Hey, everybody. Are you the gatekeeper? You better bring him inside. Do you have any hobbies? I collect spores, molds, and fungus. <laughs> the city is headed for a disaster of biblical proportion. Well, what do you mean, biblical? What he means is Old Testament, Mr. Yes. Mayor. Real wrath of God type stuff. Exactly. Human sacrifice, dogs and cats living together, mass hysteria. Bill is like a brother and a partner to me. Uh, in fact, to work with him, uh, it's it's like greased lightning. It's like jumping into the backseat of a a Daimler and going for a ride. Sir, what you had there was what we refer to as a focused, non-terminal repeating phantasm or a class 5 full roaming vapor. Real nasty one, too. He's, He's got a lot of problems. Look at the hair. He's a mess. <laughs> That's right. Your girlfriend lives in the corner penthouse of Spook Central. That's a different look for you, isn't it? Are you the key master? There's no ego on this show, you know. It's very um, giving, which has been wonderful. You have to go with the flow. If they go on the outside, that's supposed to be inside. I actually try to get them. Yeah, flow. I'll drink. He's a great laugher. I think. I mean, I, I always used to think that was a drawback, you know, because he's such an easy laugher. He laughs. I mean, Dan or, or myself or Harold can really just paralyze him, and he just falls down laughing. The way I try to influence things was, I, was to make it real. Action! 
to make the audience believe that everything they were watching could actually occur was probably happening. They felt that would make the audience more involved. very big crew. We provided a lot of work for the uh, special effects guys and I hope they'll come up with something for me in the future. Ready, even now. Jake. We were looking for a production designer, someone with a great deal of experience that could handle the kind of uh, size and problems that we were going to have in this film. As a production designer, my interests are in the total uh, visual aspects of the film and how dramatically they work to execute Ivan's picture, the picture that he wants to make. I like to think that it magically appears, but of course nothing just appears. Okay, guys, well, the set is uh, basically uh, your average uh, pre-Sumerian temple. This section of the set I'm holding here uh, represents what we had on stage 16. Probably one of the most technical and expensive sets in the world. We have a short schedule for this project and an enormous amount of work, and we wouldn't be able to do that had we not had the combined talent and, and uh, the experience of having of worked on several other effects pictures, such as Star Wars, Empire Strikes Back, Raiders, Poltergeist, E.T. We've been really lucky to, to uh, I think, assemble one of the best effects crew ever, ever assembled. Comedy is very difficult, but for people behind the camera, one of the most difficult things was often not laughing while the cameras were rolling. Ivan was often the worst offender that way. Bill's the mouth. You're right, no human being would stack books like this. Stands the hands. Close, lock the system. Set your entry grid. The light is green. Trap is clean. And heralds the brains. Let's say this Twinkie represents the normal amount of psychokinetic energy in the New York area. According to this morning sample, it would be a Twinkie 35 feet long, weighing approximately 600 pounds. <coughs> That's a big mm -hmm. one. We got one! Don't move. It won't hurt you. Ah! Hello, New York! Ah! Dr. Ray Chance, would you please? The heart of the Ghostbusters. Ah! Well, the reason uh, we're doing it as a comedy is because it's so damn frightening. We might have to put a little overtime in on this one! The next time you're walking downtown in New York City or down on the nickel in Los Angeles, grab a guy by the shoulder and say, hey, did you see what I just saw? And you'll find that people just don't want to talk to you. We're ready to believe.